Hey! Hey! Look at me! I'm behind the train! Look at- I'm jumping! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Hey, thanks a lot Mario! Now look at you guys rolling! The day is just passing you on by! Hurry all aboard everybody! Have a good trip! Oh, thank you very much. And I think a piece of mail is going to pop in my inbox. Yes, it did. So, important things... King K, hey! Yo, G-Money, it's me, King K, your homie from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me, dog. How you doing? What, you off, <clears throat> what, you off KO and fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league. That's living large. <laughs> but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. Gotta think... Gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay, dog. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, dog. Next time you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. <laughs> Keep it real. King K. And clearly crew. Alright. Oh, another toad to talk to. All aboard! Yeah, that's it. So in we go. Let's go! Refueling complete. Bridge is down. We are on the road again. Well, on the tracks again. <laughs> Woo! Yeehaw! Still love the sunset coloration and design overall. I don't have to make that sound. Attention, all passengers. Thank you for riding the XS Express. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. But first, let's talk to people. <laughs> well, put them to Poshley Heights tomorrow. How was your XS Express experience? I guess I don't even have to ask. You know why, sir? Because the XS Express is fabulous. Indeed it is. This was a fun trip overall. Even though I was in a ton of danger. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe not that much danger. Uh, Zip Toad's room, obviously not going to have uh, anyone in here now. Uh, room two, we have Shell Earring Lady. No, wait, the Gold Ring Lady. They're finally going to arrive in Poshley Heights tomorrow. About time, I should say. But that is for tomorrow. Now it is beauty sleep time. Late nights cause wrinkles. <laughs> Alright, next car over. Which is our car. Starting with Elvis's room. Mm -hmm. Well, we hit Poshley Heights. I won't be able to eat the amazing XS Express Chow. How depressing. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to find other delicious food elsewhere. You seem to be a master at it. <laughs> uh, ghostly Toad. I'll be in Poshley Heights tomorrow. I feel sad that I won't see you after that. But please do come visit. I won't be going anywhere, but it's late now. Good night. Good night, Ghostly Toad. By the way, what's your name anyway? Do you have a name? That's a that's Ghosty. <laughs> Figures. He's pretty lighthearted for a ghost, but still, a ghost is a ghost. Hello, Detective Mario. I guess we owe you again for getting us out of Riverside. This is your last night on the train, but please have a good one. All right? Okay, I will. That's why I'm chatting it up with people before I miss my chance to do so. Hey, Mister. So, um, so my mom and my dad, they said they are going to get me a chance and we get to Poshy Heights. I can't wait, 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 I can't wait. <laughs> Who knew my little bub liked trains so much? Perhaps I'll get him a solid gold train set when we get to Poshy Heights. Well, that is certainly better than the idea you proposed before. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I've heard all about your present for little bub. You gave him the engineer's autograph, didn't you? I wish we'd thought of that. <clears throat> Go Bob and I would so like to please him on his big day. I'm sort of mucusy today for some reason, I don't know why. Hence my throat clearing. Uh, room 7, we have the businessman. Well, business mouse. <laughs> Good evening to you. Tomorrow's the day that our big deal goes down. I've checked the contacts, or contracts, pardon me. All that's left is to get a nice big breakfast tomorrow. <clears throat> on the expense account, of course. <laughs> Everything goes on the expense account. A Ratui businessman is his name. Well, it's not his actual name, but, you know, it's that's just the generic name for him, I guess you could say. Alright, Pennington. What's up, dog? I mean, penguin? Well, I will finally get home tomorrow. 
It's been a rather long time, to be honest. But the hour has grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It has been a long day. It's Mario! Oh, forget it. <laughs> Alright. Dining car! Nom 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 nom. Oh, shop is closed. I like how you can see just a little bit into the shop. You know, that you can peek through the windows. Very... Kind of, uh, well, yeah, yeah, very realistic in that regard, you know, how you can peep in windows, uh, at shop windows at night to see what they have uh, as you pass by or something like that. Hello, mushrooms, and tonight's dinner, we we're just picked in Riverside. Hmm? You really think those are okay to eat? <laughs> I, I think she has a point. Welcome, welcome! Today's dinner is the mushroom full course! Hey, but in my opinion, even though the chef is good and all, he only seems to be able to cook with mushrooms, star. <laughs> it says, special, I mean, specialty ingredient, like, how to basic with eggs. <laughs> so, tomorrow is finally Poshley Heights, is it? Whew, I hate waiting. We've got to get that crystal star before those other guys, no matter what. So let's rest up so we're ready for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Ah, <sighs> so fluffy, so comfy. Oh. Faint voyage, day three. Ah, a new day! And it's such a totally cool and brisk morning. And everything is healed up and good to go. Alright, let's go over to this side of the car and hey, wait a second. Where is everyone? This is odd. Oh, sleeping in? Guess so. Hmm. Maybe they're in the back of the car. Let's just check around here. Hmm. Hey, Pennington! Pennington! How's it going? Oh, he's gone too. Well, this is odd. Hmm. What the? Some of those critters from the train station. How did they get here? Oh, well, they're pretty harmless. I'll just guess I'll just leave them be. Where's the Babam family? Are they in here? Hmm. This is peculiar. Wonder what's going on here. We're, maybe they're talking to the uh, train engineer guy. Hmm. That seems like a logical place to go, you know, chat it up with the guy driving it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Sure. Oh. Email. <laughs> Papatch. Oh, oh, are you? Oh, you Mario. How was your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that cretin Flavio spits out some bit old drivel about treading water and settle of season life, but I just tune him out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them ooligans what for and save your princess from Papatch. Yeah, him. Hmm. Wait, wait. Is the ghost around? Oh, this is odd, isn't it? Well, I have to make it appear again. You don't have to go on that sofa, by the way. Every time you do that, I'm just doing that for the fun of it. There's a large sanctum in Pashley Heights. The picture on display there is so big, it looks like you could just jump inside. Like Super Mario 64. <laughs> Alright. Surely Elvis couldn't be gone. I mean, the, he wasn't in the dining car, huh? He's gone too. Hmm. This is very odd. Hmm. From the looks of things... Everyone must be at the front, so let's just uh, skip these over here, and, you know, I should probably switch to Goombella here, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Oh, oh, we hit a bug, dang it. Better turn on the windshield wipers. Hmm, is there something on the windshield? Oh, lots of things. Yeah! What are these things? You! Weren't those the things from the station yesterday? You must have stowed away! Uh, first, we have to ensure the passengers to safety! But I have to keep the keep driving! Tick, 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 driving! Yeah, clearly you have not had your hand on the controls for a while here. Just look at it go crazy. 
Mario, can you check out the bastards? Okay. Um, they're kind of gone, though. <laughs> anyway, you could probably guess that. I mean, guess this based on the situation, but a boss battle is coming up. So, hey, a uh, mini spoiler alert there. <laughs> So do your preparations before you get into the boss battle, like say, get a new badge set set up here, which I've got already uh, here, which I did off camera. I'm pretty sure these stack, which is why I have two on here, which is going to be pretty handy. Uh, of course, I have the timing tutor badge for your sake and the walkthrough, and uh, this is mostly a uh, jump-centric badge set here, uh, because most of the things that I'll be hitting are uh, in the air, so yeah. Anyway, save your game before you move on. Of course, oh, they're everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> By the way, uh, now, at this moment in time, the shop is back to being open. Wow! I um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow! I, uh, how's it going, traveler? Welcome to the sale stall. We have lots of souvenirs. From the sounds of things, you just fainted. <laughs> I mean, as you've seen before, those black things, they're completely harmless to you. So, you just probably got frightened, he was like, ah, and then he passed out. <laughs> anyway, now the back of the train you will find to be open, you know, the baggage car. Because for some reason they are away from the door now. Oh, they're flooding the room! That's their name. They're like a Pokemon. <laughs> you know how they say their name. Oh my gosh, it's only inside the train now. Let's take them out. Oh, what do you have to say about the baggage car? This is the freight car. Usually. Oh wait, did I do this before? Maybe I did this before. Yeah, I think I may, may have done that before. Anyway, as you can see, they're gathering around certain spots here. Yeah! Oh, they have the poor conductor. Oh, horrible. Please help them! You can also blow these away with Flurry if you would like to. But as you can tell, they're completely harmless, so don't even worry about running into them or anything like that. <laughs> uh, Detective Mario, are you safe with us again? Hey, I must have been taken by the, those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. But they didn't do any harm to you, because they're harmless. <laughs> They seem to have come into the baggage car through the open window, and they seem to and they still have many of our pain passengers. All oh, those poor souls. They still uh, open window. Poor souls. This is like too scary. I wonder if the other passengers are okay. Oh, I guess we are going to find out. <sighs> now that we have the spring jump, we can come up here. And we are outside. Look at all of them. Look. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to go back inside. I wanted to jump on top. Look at all of them. Look. Look. At... Wait, what do you have to say about the outside? This is the train's roof. Look at that scenery go whipping by. Bowser. Look, this is no time to be describing stuff. These guys are so annoying. They're flippy and floppy and gross and I hate them. Let's get rid of them. Damn. Damn. Actually, that's completely ineffective. So just go all the way over to the front of the train. Well, as far as to the front as you possibly can. Just keep going, keep going. They're gonna keep following you. They're just gonna keep touching you. It doesn't really do anything. And all the smorgs on the train combine into one to form. Smorgzilla! Well, it's just Smorg. <laughs> There's the passengers! What is that gross thing? No! Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! No! Okay, they're a lot more dangerous than they look. <laughs> End scene. Smorg! Morg. This is, as you might have guessed, the smorg. <laughs> I guess those magenta ones in the center there are what controls the rest of the pack. Anyway, let's start off with a tattle here. And I guess without those magenta ones, they're also harmless overall, too. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gathered to create this huge monster. 
Max HP is 50, attack is 5, defense is 1, and it attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to 0, making it easier to attack. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms with higher attack powers. I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. This is a pretty dang dangerous boss, by the way, so let's start out with a lovely power lift here. Get things off. You'll also uh, you'll notice in my new badge setup, I did not have any charge badges. I figured I would mix things up here by uh, using other methods to defeat bosses like this right here. Come on! Nope. Yeah. And plus, you know, the charge badge is pretty dang overpowered. <laughs> so I just thought, hey, let's make things more interesting, you know. <laughs> And we've already seen the charge strategy anyway as well, so yeah. Just trying to make things a little bit different. Now this one is going to attack the one in back. You can tell which one it's going to attack uh, based off of its angle. Like, uh, if it's going above your head, it's going to attack whoever is in back. If it's in front, it's going to flick you in front. Uh, anyway, now what I'm going to do here is show off the tornado jump. This can attack all enemy ugh, if I do it properly. All of the enemies at once if I do it properly in the air, and that would have been ideal for taking them out combined with the power lift there. By the way, those tentacles regenerate after a, uh, I think it's two turns. So, yeah. Anyway, normal jump. Boop, boop. There we go. And once you take care of all the tentacles. The core will become vulnerable. Look how much bigger they are compared to the rest of them. Multibonk time! Oh, I kind of failed there. Not bad, though. Woo! Alright, how about a power bounce? Because I got the uh, Ultra Boots now. Uh, you know what I should do? Swap over to uh, Vivian. She's probably the best partner for this uh, battle, in all honesty. Uh, this thing has also got a different kind of attack, like if it has a different set of tentacles, but only when its HP gets low enough, it's gonna give, it's gonna have that other form, I guess you could say. I'm hoping to show that form, even though it's pretty deadly and can do double digits worth of damage. Uh, anyway, let's do another power lift here. Woo! Pretty dang handy move to have, I must say. Alright, this time I'm gonna focus more on the power lift rather than uh, rather than being so sloppy like I was the last time I used it. Okay, just gotta watch them as they come out. Wow, that's a lot of attack power-ups. Uh, 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 come on. Mm, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of that, but yeah, that's fine. Now this is why uh, uh, Vivian is probably the best partner to have for this battle. Whoops, fiery jinx. A, B, 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 B. Ah! Yeah, she can take care of all the tentacles in one shot, even without powered up. I mean, even without being powered up. Alright, power bounce! I don't want to kill it, though, so I'm going to hold off a little bit. <laughs> and the con, I'll show your other form. That would be ideal. Oh, here it is! That is so freaky looking. This thing uh, has a ton of attack power, and you definitely want to try and super guard that thing like I did there. Oh, so its body has got um, two HP left, and its ginormous evil tentacle there. You know, maybe I should let it attack me at least once. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna like burn a turn or something. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to let it just attack me once, because it's almost down for the count here, so... Yeah, I'm going to do one more appeal. Yay! I'm not all that concerned about HP. Now watch this, I'm just going to let it attack me. Eight damage, and that was with my stat power-ups there. So that means it does ten damage worth of, uh, yeah, damage. <laughs> and it's still not all that difficult to take care of this tentacle in the turn that it appears. 
because you know it's, it's only got six HP and you can focus all of its attacks on it. But the thing is, is that if you let it stick around, whoa, <laughs> it's gonna drain your HP pretty dang fast. Anyway, let's finish it off. Ah! Woo! Smorg explosion, smorg fireworks, whatever you want to call it. Smorg. <laughs> they blow away with the wind. <laughs> sure looked like there was a lot more there than uh, there were piled on there before. Anyway, they're saved. Thank you. Oh, it's like all you did for three days was save us. <laughs> How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. No, wait, what? Oh, thank you so much. You saved my life. Uh, no, no, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. <laughs> so, did you all know this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along? <sighs> Just drop my controller in amazement. He's staring right at my butt. And he still doesn't see the name. Well, he's staring at my back and he doesn't see the name. We will soon arrive at Poshleyites! Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark! <sighs> I still can't believe Pennington. Well, okay, I can. <laughs> Poshley Heights, here we are! Pretty friendly looking place. Mm hmm. Attention all passengers! Now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. I don't think it's possible to leave anything behind. <laughs> We're finally here, Mario. There's no time to waste. So let's find Poshley Sanctum like the professor said. Alrighty. Is there any passengers on board? I mean, I'm sure there's time to waste, in all honesty. <laughs> oh, there are passengers on board. I just got a phone call from my old boyfriend. Really? I'm super glad I got these shelly rings back now. That could have been awkward. <laughs> no, probably he'll probably dump her later. <laughs> oh no, I must. Now I must to perp the vegetables. Uh, no, no, stupid! You useless, foolish, flapping tongue! I must prep them. And today I try a new mushroom recipe that will make taste buds weep. Sure enough, the mushrooms again. <laughs> toad or shop toad? How goes the traveler? Nope, nothing else. Yeah, you can still buy stuff until you, uh... Well, actually, you can still buy stuff once you go back on the train later. You can just... You can ride this train anytime, uh, just going, uh, back and forth, basically. And, uh, whenever you want the days to pass, just sleep overnight. Oh, no one's in here. Are there anyone... I mean, is there anyone left on board? I'm guessing not. Because, yeah, they, they've disembarked. Aside from the people who... Uh, practically live here, you know, like the conductor, the engineer, um, perhaps Elvis, because he likes the food. <laughs> In all my years of as, as conductor, I have never had a trip like that one. <laughs> and I still can't believe how you saved us every time something bad happened. Want to work here? No, it's too dangerous. Besides, I need crystal stars. <laughs> Going in the other direction now, let's start at room four. Oh, Ghostly is here. Well, Ghosty. It's a large thing to have up. Oh, oh. Same thing. Same dialogue. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised at that since we're at a stop. Oh, Elvis is here! <laughs> Already got a return ticket. That's right. Three more days on the gravy train. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Well, probably most everyone. <laughs> As long as they have good food, he will be there. The gold ring lady is gone. Z I mean, uh, Zesty. <laughs> I was going to say Zesty. Zip Toad is gone. Uh, engineer obviously has got to be here. That was a crazy ride, sir. But did you enjoy the Excess Express experience? Please come again. I assure you it will be more sedate. Because the Excess Express is fabulous. Yeah, I did enjoy it. <laughs> even even though all of our lives were on the line multiple times, I enjoyed it. Alright, let's disembark. We have a bit of time until our next departure. So yeah, you can't ride the train just yet. That's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, save block right here. 
I'm gonna save the game and end off the part here and explore Poshley Heights in the next part. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part. It's kind of kind of got redundant there in my ending speech, but whatever, whatever. I made it alive. <laughs>